All right, let's do an example with simple harmonic motion. So we have a small block and it's attached to an ideal spring and moving in simple harmonic motion on a horizontal frictionless surface. The amplitude of the motion is 0.25 meters, okay, and the period is 3.2 seconds, and they want me to find the speed and the acceleration when the position is 0.16 meters. So it's not at its maximum amplitude, it's kind of somewhere in the middle where its acceleration and its speed are the things we wanna find. Now notice it says speed, so we don't have to worry about direction once we find the speed there. Um, we're only worried about the magnitude. So since it's simple harmonic motion, our position function we can use is this. To get a velocity function, I just need to take the derivative, so I get negative um, omega times a sine omega t plus phi. All right. So if I want to find the speed at a point where I know the position, ideally what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, if I plug in that position, I should be able to find that time. Once I know that time, I should be able to find that speed. We're going to be a little sly about this. I am actually going to group omega t plus phi into a single variable. So we're going to do a little tricky tiger trail here. Um, so all I'm going to have to do is solve for that. So I'm going to move my x divided by a, and then I'm going to take the inverse cosine of that, and that will tell me what this omega t plus phi is. Now, if I was trying to actually finish solving for t, I do have to make sure I'm in radian mode here, so make sure of that. Um, so now I just need to go ahead and I'm going to substitute all of that in right here. So now I know the speed is going to be negative omega a times the sine of the inverse cosine of x over a. All right, so a couple other things here. Um, they, we know the x, it's 0.16. We know the a, it's 0.25. Um, the omega right now, we're a little shy on, but they did give me the period. So I know that omega is gonna be two pi divided by the period. So I should be able to plug that information in there. So let's go ahead and type all that in. And since it's speed, I don't really need the negative sign, but I'm gonna include it. So two pi divided by 3.2 times my 0.25 times the sine of the inverse cosine of 0.16 divided by 0.25. Now it turns out that because I'm doing sine inverse cosine, like they cancel each other out, so I don't need it in radian mode at this moment, um, but it's good whenever you're using these equations to kind of practice being in radian mode. All right, this comes out to negative 0.24 meters per second. I'm just gonna do 0.24 meters per second since it only wanted the speed for me there. So I did have to do that little bit of substitution there. So it, you, you might run into a situation like that. Um, Let's go ahead and do part B kind of where we find the acceleration. So acceleration's a little nicer um, because of the whole basis for simple harmonic motion is that the acceleration is negative omega squared times the original x value. So at any place, it's gonna be omega squared times x. Well, the nice thing is I kind of know these two pieces of information, so negative of two pi divided by 3.2 quantity squared times my 0.16 will give me the acceleration, a much easier calculation over here, and that's because if I take the derivative yet again, I'll be getting that cosine, so I'll end up with the negative and the omega squared out front, but then I'll still have this a cosine omega t plus v, so I can just make that giant substitution there as a x. Um, when I plug that in, I get neg well, I get a magnitude of 0.617 meters per second squared um, for that. There you go.